Hey guys, this is Peter and today I have something pretty cool for you. It is a, well, it's an affordable yet powerful video editing suite called Video Proc Converter. And this thing's pretty amazing. It enables you to fix, edit, compress, record, uh, and well, change file types uh, for all sorts of different videos. Both CPU and GPU accelerated, Mac and PC, this little piece of software is powerful and enables you to do things that I've only seen in Pro Suites uh, up until this point. For example, dual input screen recording. That means you can have a green screen behind you and a period down at the bottom. Great stuff. It does that. You can cut, merge, crop, rotate, add subtitles, add watermarks, some real, oh, and compress things amazingly. And it's really, really fast. So let me just show it to you really quickly. And oh, you can try it for free. There's a free trial, and I'll get to that. Uh, really great stuff. Make sure it works for you on your PC because that's what it's all about. Here, video. It allows you to convert all sorts of different file types and it's so easy. I'm going to show you. Look, uh, one of my favorite is MP4. I like the uh, H264. And look, I'm going to bring in a bunch of different videos, different file types. We've got AVIs, MOVs. Let's see what we got. This is a batch import, by the way. Look at it. They just all came in together. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know how can you uh, how can you convert these you know really easily how can i trim how can i edit how can i compress how can i merge we can do all of those things look see this is an mwv and m4v i forgot about that one avi mp4 avi again a lot of my kids stuff was avi mov and avi were kind of battling it out for a while it looks like uh uh, the MP4s are finally winning out. But look, I can convert these. If I have to just hit run right now, it'll convert them all, rename them individually, or I can do all sorts of cool stuff. First thing I want to do, I love uh, trimming. Trimming is taking out the parts you don't want. Here, this one, the surfing movie is perfect for trimming. Because you want to start when I start surfing, right about there. Yeah, and then I get into a, a guy, nice big one here. Let's see. And then it ends. All right. So let's see. Where's the best shot? Oh, there's a little bit where it's over my head. Right about there. That's a good shot. But anyway, right about, let's start it right there and end it when I bite it 26 seconds later. Right about there. Right there when it goes black. Boom. That is now trimmed. I can export that. I can also compress it. The compression feature, I'm going to show you compress on this one. This is the first digital purchase I made. It was Adventure Time. This is nice and long. It's a really, wow, it is a really long uh, video, but it's an M4V. I can't use that anymore. Let's convert it. So I'm going to convert it, of course. It's going to convert over to an MP4. That's going to be great. Uh, but now I want to compress it as well. The compression feature on this is excellent. Originally, it was almost a gig. And look, I can drop this straight on down. It's about 350 ish. That's going to be perfect. Boom. That's going to export and be nice and small. Uh, the kids, when they were young, this is an AVI. Let's make it over to an MP4. I don't even want to edit that one. But here, this is me working on the beehive. So I want to. Well, I don't need to compress that as much as I do need to trim it. Trim. Hey, and my wife always shoots stuff with the phone, but she does it the other way. So now I can flip all that stuff and reframe it and make it watchable. Anyway, uh, here it is. Let's trim this one. It's me taking apart a beehive. And so I want to get to the good part where I'm pulling up the frames. There we go. Right about there. Let's get that right there walk it on down lifting a frame and then we talk about what's on the frame and get it back into the spot there we go i like that boom and it that one's trimmed significantly really easy to do lot kind of fun take all your memories bring them in make them yours again uh you can actually bring these all together it's as easy as this to bring reorganize which ones are which here, I'm going to take the giant one and pull it out because I don't need that one. I probably don't need that one. But if I did want to organize these together and have the baby videos and the B video, well, I probably don't have all the kids stuff together. There, a nice family movie. I could simply hit run. Oh, click merge first. It's going to merge it into one clip. 
it's going to do this one, this one, and this one. And all you have to do is click run and it'll do it. Really, really fast, really easy. DVDs. This thing will rip DVDs. Let me show you how easy that is. I have a disc in there, but it'll also handle ISOs or even folders. You can even output it different ways. Uh, there's some great stuff here. But here, I'm just going to read in a disc. Done. It's analyzing the disc that's in the drive. I can hear it churning away. And look, it's identified the one folder out of all of these that it needs to do. This is a Region 2 disc. So it was made to uh, well, watch with a European uh, in Europe. But now I can make it uh, so I can watch it in the United States. And I can even decide there. I can make it English. I can make it French. I can make it both of those. So I can switch. That would be neat. I can uh, add subtitles, English and French. And there we go. What's this edit button? Da -da -da. I guess it's so I can kind of preview it. There we go. A propos, vous aviez raison pour le we could turn on the subtitles, I imagine. Burn in the French. No, let's burn in the the English. Oh, it's burning them both in. I guess I I toggle it on. Add subtitle file. No, we don't need that. It's already on the disk. So we're good to go. There it is. All I got to do is hit run. It's going to make a nice copy. Let me get to the other features. They're amazing. Okay. Downloader. That is for fair use stuff that's on the web. And uh, let's go to the screen recorder. So the screen recorder, you've heard of a screen recorder. It records the screens and actions on the screen. But this one does have a webcam feature as well, where you can get the webcam going. And there's two different ways to use it, three different ways to use this. You could have yourself on a webcam. You could have yourself with the screen background like this. Uh, or the place that's a little more used to seeing is you down in the corner, like I often shoot. And there we go. Uh, I can actually move myself around or just leave myself here. Let's do a quick video. Suppose you wanted to do a video. So it's going to take us through. I love this way of explaining things because if you found a problem, sometimes I'm debugging software for somebody and I want to be able to uh, show the different features. Now, right now you're just seeing me interact with the software, but when we rewatch this, you'll see every click that I do has, is being circled so people can see what I'm clicking. Neat piece of software. Here, let's go ahead and end this. No. Do, 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 do. Do. All right, ended it. There it is. It created the file, but now I want to put a watermark on it so that I get credit for my work and that they don't just uh, post it to the web thinking, oh, I don't have to pay that guy. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring in this piece, video, import the piece. There it is. Ta -da -da. All right, so I'm going to export this as a different file type. It happens to be the same, but you have to pick a file type. Now I can click watermark. So problem, I could type on the screen and say this was done by somebody, Peter Carcioni, I be able to, or I could uh, just put an image on it. The different features. And my image now, would probably right not now, be my logo, but it might software, be actually. Uh, this, you'll see every oh, click I that can I of course do resize has, this. Being circled it, so it, it, and when I'm going to make it transparent a little bit, there. So that let's go ahead. I would might put a little sign that says my company's logo and say created by. So that they make if sure that they the contact me before they go posting it to the web, somebody, because uh, I hey, want to be able to get paid for stuff, uh, right? Now, of course, I could trim this if I wanted to trim it, if I wanted to make it shorter, if I need to compress it. All of this stuff is available to me. Here, we can even flip it. <laughs> I don't know why you'd flip it, but because then all the words would be backwards. But yeah, of course, you can do that. Sometimes it, when you sh shoot something, so it gets problem, vertically flipped. I'm debugging it's horizontally for flipped. somebody. You and can want do to be able to uh, great little toolkit. You again, you could try it for free. Hey, you're probably wondering how much is this thing? Well, again, you could try it for free. This is the limitations of the trial that it works for five minutes on on the free version. Uh, but uh, hey, I've made videos before with I don't mind the little watermark that says where it's from because I'm trying to communicate. But if you did want to buy it, again, you download the Mac version or the PC version. And then if you wanted to buy it, there's multiple different ways. There's an Easter coupon going out right now. 
It looks like it's a one-year subscription for 26 bucks, or life. That's three PCs, or lifetime, one PC. Um, I think this is a good deal. If you have more than one PC and you wanted to use it that way, if you only have one PC, yeah, you could go either way. Uh, I like this because it seems like they upgrade all the time. So uh, uh, it could be an excellent way to go. Looks like you have two days to pick this up at a discounted price. And uh, even so, try it out. If you like this, go ahead and get it. It's a neat piece of software. Hey, it helps me out if you click thumbs up. The fact that I had two cameras going, that was trickier than heck. Uh, but uh, I was able to record myself recording myself which was a little challenging. So if you give me a thumbs up or if you click subscribe, definitely appreciate it. And I'll put a link down to this below. I definitely think it's something you want in your toolkit. A good piece of software like this is worth its weight. If you have old memories, you got to uh, bring back together. I recently went to a celebration of life and it was fantastic to be able to uh, bring in all the different pieces of video and transcode them and bring them together and make a solid presentation out of it. I know my cousins appreciated it. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching and um, see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.